That was kind of scary. Wim was pushing us hard onto the dock on the ICW. Finally. Deep Creek, luck. That'll be in the dismal swamp. Really, really narrow and shallow. It's not very good. We've already bumped once. When we left this morning, we uh, put a hole in our dinghy. It's not fair. I don't see with my eye. scary we just left our free dock finally after seeing an awesome submarine and the wind was pushing us hard onto the dock and it's really small dock so I tried to drive and kind of go out but then as I'm trying to go out our dinghy is hitting all those poles but then if I save the dinghy, I'm gonna run at the other end of the dock in like just a couple of feet. So, oh, that was just so stressful. We ended up having some guys, uh, our friends help us out. And Corey got behind the wheel and backed out and twisted and we made it out. So now we're on the Elizabeth River, on the ICW, finally and we're heading to the dismal swamp and we're not alone we have how many okay so there's our boat there's a northern wind with uh, scott and toby there is a friend that we met at the free dock barry and another sailboat with uh, two other new friends so we're a couple of us heading over it's gonna be fun well we're waiting on bridge number seven railroad bridge to open and it looks like there's a bit of a lineup. There's quite a few uh, boats lying around, and I think we're just getting in line, getting the fastest, uh, shortest boats ahead, and then uh, we're gonna be able to go as well.
Traveling by sailboat brings you to so many places that you'd never really visit or even hear about otherwise. This whole journey from leaving Lake Erie and trying to make it to the Caribbean brought us to some unique places and the Dismal Swamp is one of them. We haven't experienced anything remotely close to it. The whole canal is controlled by two locks, which makes the water so still, without any current. The reflection of vine-covered trees, the clouds and sky, and the dark water is perfect, not disturbed by a ripple. It is such a peaceful environment with many birds and turtles. You can't truly really sail and unfortunately have to motor the whole way, but it is so worth it. Mind you, this experience would probably be very different in the summer months with all the mosquitoes and black flies. Mm. So good. The Desmo swamps are so special. It's really, really narrow and shallow. <laughs> so we're seeing a lot of like six foot, sometimes 5.5, and we draw 5.3 feet. So anyways, it's kind of a meandering through the little canal and enjoying the incredible scenery. There's like tall trees surrounding us, tons of vines in the trees. And it's the fall, so you get some really, really nice colors. And the water is so black. It's just like coffee or like a stout. <laughs> it's incredible. With like duckweed all over the place. It's so pretty. Well, this is uh, an interesting trek here down this canal. Um, it's really shallow, so I mean, we're seeing like four feet at times and we draw five three, so it's not very good. We've already bumped once and we're just really trying to pay attention and stay as close to the middle as possible. The uh, Navionics or uh, Aquamax in our case is completely useless. It doesn't really give you any depths and half the time you're actually on land according to the chart. So um, not really helpful there. So you're just kind of puttering along right now at three knots because that's pretty much the slowest I can go. I could probably go a little slower, but uh, yeah, this seems like the safest way to hit something, going as slow as possible. <laughs> it's interesting driving through the dismal swamps. We ran over two things so far. Think logs. And Corey hit a tree. He actually took some branches off of a tree with a mast. <laughs> oi, oi.
just crossed the border of Virginia and North Carolina. It's gonna be getting warmer and warmer slowly. How was parking? That oh, was good. Fun rafting up. A little bit thick in here with uh, the duckweed, but uh, it's all part of it, I guess. <laughs> <sighs> I hate it. So when we left this morning, we uh, put a hole in our dinghy. I was hoping we, we didn't, but it turned out we did. So you can kind of see the scratch right here. And when I go to push it down underwater, you can see all the bubbles coming out. So you can see our slice along here. It started up here and goes all the way around. Um, we think it's right here because those look like the deeper cuts. But if you use a little bit of soapy water and you spray it along the cut, you can see right where the bubbles start and where they end. So it looks like the cut is deep here to there. I slowed down because I figured there was no rush to get it. We were wait everybody was waiting for the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Fender is a welcome fender. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Right. We didn't know who else was coming up. I think we had one.